Let's talk about Edgar Wright. Alana, you and I are big, big fans of this filmmaker. He is, of course, the director of Baby Driver, the director of Shaun of the Dead. Well, his next film is going to be a little bit different than the previous movies he made. It's titled Last Night in Soho. Up until recently, all we knew about it is that he was straying away from comedy and was going to do a straight up, not a spoof, straight up psychological thriller slash horror. It was scheduled for release September 25th, 2020. No surprise to anyone, he just tweeted today that it's going to be delayed. Here's Edgar Wright's tweet, haunted by someone else's past, but we'll see you in the future. It's true, Last Night in Soho is not quite finished yet due to COVID-19, but I'm excited for you all to experience it at a big screen near you on April 23rd, 2021. So there's our new release day, April 2021. This is one of those movies I keep forgetting about. If I remembered it was coming out this year, I would say it would be one of my top five most anticipated films. Shaun of the Dead, one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time, so I'm always looking forward to what Edgar Wright is going to do next. But alone, if you wanted to get even more hyped for an Edgar Wright film, yes. what is your favorite sci-fi concept? Hmm. Think about your other most anticipated film of this year. Uh, time travel. Time travel, that's right. So in an Empire interview last year, Edgar Wright opened up a little bit on the plot for this movie. He st said that um, the main character, Eloise, is obsessed with 60s London. And then Edgar Wright goes on to say, there's something I have in common with the lead character and that I'm afflicted with nostalgia for a decade I didn't live in. You think about 60s London, what would it be like? Imagine if you knew everything you knew now and went back. I'm taking a premise whereby you have a character who, in a sort of abstract way, gets to travel in time. And the reality of the decade is maybe not what she imagines. It has an element of be careful what you wish for. So like I said, you got to love the time travel element, but... The way he says in abstract way, I'm thinking this probably isn't conventional time travel. Maybe she goes into a world that's like 60s London, or it's an it's a wonderful life type of situation where you're being shown a glimpse into another reality, but you're not actually time traveling. But knowing Edgar Wright, I'm sure whatever the explanation is, it's going to be very well thought out and it's going to be awesome. Funny enough, the way he talks about be careful what you wish for, talks about nostalgia for another decade, I ironically have that same nostalgia when you talk about Edgar Wright. As awesome as it is to see him stray away from horror comedy, anytime I hear Edgar Wright's name, part of me wants to see him go back to the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost well, but I'm assuming just like Eloise's character will learn, you don't always want to go back, right? We got Hot Fuzz. We got the world's end. Maybe we don't need to revisit the Cornetto trilogy, but I always want to. I really hope we see another Simon Pegg, Nick Frost collaboration with Edgar Wright sometime in the near future. But anyway, overall, I think this is going to be an awesome movie. I'm in the bag for anything Edgar Wright does. And hey, if Tenet gets delayed till 2021, we'll have two awesome time travel movies next year. Any other thoughts, Alon, on Edgar Wright? Last Night in Soho, or do you just echo my thoughts that this movie is probably going to be awesome? I echo your thoughts, when it, mostly. With the old uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost movies, mm -hmm. I think you were more into uh, Hot Fuzz and The World's End than I was. I still enjoyed them, right? but I enjoyed Shaun of the Dead way more than those two. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed them more than you did. I still agree, though. For me, Shaun of the Dead's up here. Mm -hmm. And then probably Hot Fuzz is many steps down. Yeah. And then below that is The World's End. But still, to me, all of them are great movies. Shaun of the Dead has that unfair nostalgia factor where I saw it at that time in my life where I was just getting into zombie movies, was just getting into horror. I was just discovering how incredible movies could actually be. So it's so tied into all that. Rich said, Baby Driver was great, awesome sound design. That's right, that's a movie I haven't revisited since I th saw it in theaters, but I was blown away by that movie. I, I remember the scene with him dancing, that <laughs> opening sequence. Such a great scene. Like Rich said, awesome sound design. So we need to do a Baby Driver uh, rewatch soon, I think. I'm down. All right, well, oh, actually, speaking of Baby Driver, it is worth mentioning 
that Baby Driver 2 is something that is still in development, at least as of about a year ago. And at the time, Edgar Wright said he was hoping, I think, early 2021 to be filming that. So hopefully soon we hear more about a Baby Driver 2. That's awesome. Yeah. I had no clue. I, I did not think there would ever be a sequel to that movie. Yeah, there were rumblings about a sequel. And I thought, okay, fine, there'll be a sequel. But I'm sure Edgar Wright's not going to be involved. And then he said he's writing the script. In fact, it's already written. And uh, it will be his first sequel. But I'm excited to see it. 